What's going on, y'all? If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's your boy, Tell. Back with another video, man. And today, we're gonna be at Cam Kirk Studios and I'll be talking to y'all about some black and white filter time. Let's get it. So the other day, man, you know, usually when I shoot 35 millimeter film, I like to shoot it either analog or on a point and shoot. So I got my baby right here. I got a Nikon One Touch. So I recently got this around the time I got my RB67. It's a smooth camera. Nice point and shoot, don't gotta change the settings on anything. So that's something that I kinda um, maneuver towards after having a camera that I could change settings on. I used to have the Canon EOS A2E and it broke when I was in LA. Uh, I don't even wanna talk about how it broke cause I don't wanna hear the slander. My, I mishandled it, it broke um, and I invested into this guy. So this has been a dope, dope camera that's been supporting me. Usually when I'm shooting 35 millimeter, it's more so of a lifestyle camera. I never really see myself doing anything uh, more conceptual or um, anything more professionally graded. Uh, I usually use this camera for something more candid, uh, just things that I can capture in everyday space. So that's one reason why I enjoy this camera too, because it's small, compact, and I could take it anywhere that I want it to go. So enough about the camera, let's get right into the film. So I've been shooting this film for probably about a little over a month now. Um, I went to this club with some friends. So I'll show you some photos of me and the homies. I had shot some of me and my homie, one of my best friends, Justin. Uh, we went out, um, we went to this club called MJQ. It's like this underground dope club that plays some nice music. Went there with a couple buddies. So here's some photos of that. Me and my girl had went. It was a nice, it was a nice vibe. So most of the photos in these negatives would be probably me and my girl, Nature, uh, which is stuff that I like to cap because I, re I really like to uh, document my life. So whether it's that me and my girlfriend's journey, my journey, journey with friends, and also just journey with friends or just different events or things a part of my life, uh, whether it's milestones or meetups, just a small thing. Also, you got me and my girl at home and also our dog, Harley. She's so, so sweet. Um, but yeah, Harley, she's definitely a main character in a lot of my film roles um, when it comes to my 35 mil. So it's pretty smooth, man. Uh, she's a dope model. <laughs> you feel me? Also, too, before I get any further, the film stock I shot with, it's this uh, Atlanta film company out here. It's my first time shooting it. I got it at Bellows Film Lab. And here's the film stock here. So it's some black and white film. Um, I forgot what speed was on it, but it will show it right here. And it's definitely probably some of the most underrated black and white film I've shot. Cause I've shot XT100 and stuff like that. But this was pretty clean, man. Um, I do plan on shooting some more of Atlanta Film Company stocks. Cause I really like how it's, um, I just like how, I like how smooth it came out. I like how the contrast was. I like how the shadows and highlights were on this sound. And also too, um, I like how it's locally owned. You know what I'm saying? So it's based out in Atlanta so I can support Atlanta, you feel me? Moving on to some other photos. So my homie Amani, she came in from Cali and we was gonna do a shoot. It was gonna be this fire, fire shoot. But that same day, the night, actually the day before my car broke down. So I've been car this really for like two and a half, three weeks, you feel me? On that day we had this fire concept planned out. So earlier that day before my car messed up, I had another shoot and that's the shoot I did here at the hotel. And Mada was there, if you guys checked out the video, you will see that yeah, she was in there. She was actually career directing and everything. So we was actually gonna shoot her afterwards. And then my car had messed up. So, but prior to picking her up, I went to go pick up the model. As we were waiting outside, um, we really fuck with nature a lot. So when we went outside, we seen this log that was placed in front of this field with these trees. And I know it was gonna be dope because on um, how backlit it was, it was gonna look so heavenly. So I shot that. Honestly, too, at the time, I didn't even know that I had black and white film in there. But it, <laughs> it worked out perfectly. So and I'm getting this dope shot, which I'm actually thinking about framing. And I also got this dope silhouette shot of Amani actually in the sun too, which I really, really like. And I actually wouldn't mind framing that either. Maybe if I could do a collage piece. But 
you know, those are some clean, those are probably some of my favorite shots on the stock for sure. And then of course, you know, you can't go wrong with, you know, your gas station photos. You know, I got this dope shot in front of Jay's food mark of this billboard. And I just like how, I just like how detailed everything is. I didn't think I would get much of a good quality through this camera, but it's so dope. Like, and one thing too, throughout this role, it was having some weird functionalities to it. Cause mind you, I've had this camera, like I said, since I had RB67. So I think it was like since the beginning of June. So I've been shooting with it for a couple months now, but the only thing is recently that last robot shot, I don't know if I put my film in maybe a little incorrectly or something, but when I was shooting, it would kind of like pause on the shutter and then roll like, like it's, like it's trying to hard. You feel me? It wasn't smooth, but swift. So because I have a nice shutter, I love the shutter speed. Uh, I love the sound of the shutter on this. Then it has like a dope shutter to it. So I was getting these scribbles on my fennel, which was different. So I was shooting on different things in the sky, some landscape, and I was getting some cool little designs that was kind of peeking through in the landscape. So y'all check these out. So I was just getting different uh, vibes that was coming, but I really like capturing uh, the sun. I like capturing the land. I like capturing but it was real different because these the film like kind of did its own thing i was like so what the hell going on with my camera and i'm thinking my film might be fucked up in it i was like you know what i'm just gonna keep shooting so i shot literally like five to six more times and then did the same thing and after that it cleared up but these are the results i did i'd also like to give a major major shout out to my homies out at 40 love it's this dope sock company that design sockwear for different athletes and just athleisure apparel, you know? So they got some real dope comfy socks, man. They, they, you know, they spotted me with a couple, you feel me? And it's been love, bro. So here's actually a picture of the founders of it. And I really like it cause it gives this nostalgic fit. You feel me, the Andrea, she got like the old school Kobe jersey on. So it was cool. And Burks, I've been working with the guy on the left Burks for a minute, so. Um, I knew he was going to put his uh, slave on something, you feel me? So, uh, it was a dope little photo. And I think this would be cool, like, to have on the company fridge when they make it, you feel me? So, why not? The last photo I actually took on this roll was a photo of me at the Hobby Museum. So, we have a museum out here in Atlanta, Georgia, called the Hobby Museum of Art. And it's one of my favorite museums out here. And I'll show you guys the photo that actually was presented because it was shot in black and white. So this photo right here was chosen uh, from us from Camp Carter Studios. It was actually put into an exhibit in the High Museum of Art. And you guys can see the video right here. And it was a dope accomplishment for me because this was actually something that was on a milestone. So I really, really enjoyed this photo because it was real Atlanta-ish. Like the whole concept around the exhibition was about embracing the Atlanta culture. So I want to do that by shooting a little five points. Got some dope Air Force Ones are hanging on the wire. And it's dope. I think it's pretty clean. It really upped me for real. I'm like, oh yeah, like, and one thing is, man, make sure you guys are really appreciating your accomplishments and giving yourself gratitude, man, because I forget to do that a lot. So make sure you're showing it to yourself, showing love. Other than that, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in today, man. I really enjoyed this video. I always wanted to show you guys some black and white and I do plan on expanding on this too, man. I'm really enjoying the lane. I might do some street photography with it. So yeah, man, definitely check some more videos out. Make sure you guys like this video if you're new. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join the family, man. Without further ado, man, we out of here, yo, man. Keep shooting. Peace.